Hello dear Capricorn, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Happy New Year. Happy New Year 2019 to all of you. Hope that this year is a year of prosperity, love and health above all for all of you. Now today when I'm doing your reading, it's the 31st of December 2018, it's just a few hours before we change the year in Sydney, Australia. So we're one of the first countries that actually changes um, the year. We're ahead of everyone else. So I'm actually doing your reading for January 1st till the 15th, trying to get these readings out before the change of the year. So let's see, dear Capricorn, what is going on? Now, just letting you know that uh, it's between Capricorn and Libra, the free reading that I will be doing, the free timeless reading. I'm still due to do Virgo, so if you are a cross-watcher, um, I will be doing Virgo next just for your information. Let's take your cards for the 1st to the 15th of January 2019, Capricorn, dear universe. Let's see what's going on for Capricorn. And there is, you know, we're in the time of Capricorn, so happy, happy birthday to all of you. This is a lucky time for you. Let's see what the cards are going to say. Now, at the foundation, we've got the two of pentacles. At the present position, we've got justice. That's what I like to see. In the recent past, Six of Cups. I just did uh, Sagittarius and they had the Six of Cups as well. Crowning your reading, and this is your goal, is the Knight of Cups. So, wow. Okay. And your outcome card, dear Capricorn, is... The Emperor. Wow. The Emperor. Mm. And this is, of course, this is what's happening with Pluto, Saturn and the Sun in your sign. Know that the Emperor will bring you stability, will bring you all the goods. If you've worked hard for them, this is the energy of Saturn. Saturn is right there with the sun. The sun is br bringing clarity into your life of what have you done? What have you worked for? Have you put in the effort? Have you been standing in your integrity? Then you will be paid well. Okay, you're going to receive the accolades. You're going to receive the stability. This is a number four. And this is a major arcana card. Um... So if you haven't, then, you know, justice, the justice card is very karmic. It's like what you've put in, you will receive. That's what justice speaks of. So let's see, dear Capricorn, I know that you guys work very hard. For those of you that are juggling two jobs, stability is coming in for you. There's a new offer coming through in business. You may be the, the boss, you may be becoming the boss, you're climbing the ladder, right? So justice is coming through for you. This is Libra and this is obviously the house of partnership and relationship. Now partners can be partners in business, they can be people from your family, other people that you deal with in general. Now this is an offer through uh, a promotion, yes? This could also be an offer for a position of becoming the emperor, the boss. And this is something that you've been hoping for because the crowning area is your highest ideals and your goals. This is what you've been working hard for. Now, this is love because we've got the Six of Cups here, which is in the recent past. If this is love, then love is coming back from the past. So I hope that this is something that you're wishing for. If this is not, 
because we've got cups here and we've got the Knight of Cups, more than likely we're talking about a uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Okay? Now, yes, it could be two different energies. For some of you, you know, this could be someone coming back from your past and you're not letting them in there in your life. Because justice is the, the, the card of balance. It's the card of karma. Okay? It's going through that new portal. It's a number 11. Justice is very karmic. So what we've given out, we are receiving. If the person from your past is someone that you don't want to deal with, then they are receiving their payback, their justice, okay? If this is someone that you have been hoping for and they've been on your mind, okay, this is uh, a knight, which knights always speak of action. He's very slow moving, but he's got an open heart. So that is a good thing. Here in the distant past, some of you, you know, have been trying to make a decision in your work life, family life, maybe you've been juggling the two, maybe doing too much work, not enough time with family, and you know with the North and South Node, uh, North Node in Cancer, South Node in Capricorn, we have to find the middle ground and not give too much to home, not enough to work, and the other way around. Okay, so having justice here, which is the sign of Libra, as I said, this could be a partnership, a relationship where you get stability, longevity. The emperor is a number four. He speaks of stability. He's been through the experience. He's, you know, been through the situations. He's become the wiser one. Now, this could also be a father, a grandfather. You may also be teaming up now, whether in business or romance, with someone who is a father. They could even be a grandfather. Let me take some more cards for you. So the Emperor is the sign of Aries, Taurus, or Sagittarius, or Leo. For me, the Emperor is more Aries and Taurus. So because the Emperor is quite difficult, it's the energy of the Emperor is difficult because he didn't become the emperor for no reason. He has to work towards the good of the whole and not just, you know, just for his own good or for your good. Now the emperor is someone who can be very stern, very Saturnian energy as I always say. So again, you want to have this person on your side, not across from you. And I believe that stability is coming through with the Emperor. Stability through your home, through your family. Let's take a couple of cards on the Justice card. I want to see what's going on at the present time. So we've got the Eight of Pentacles. Again, very Capricornian energy here where there's a lot of work. Now Saturn is your ruler, dear Capricorn. And you could be the person who is of authority to someone else. And it could be another water sign, which could be a little bit younger than you. It looks like they've got an open heart for you. And, you know, they, they could be quite emotional. So please, please don't be too harsh with them. Because they, they're working very hard trying to get to you. This could be someone that you work with. Let's take another card on the Justice card, which could speak of even legalities, yes. And we've got the Four of Wands, which is a celebration. Working very hard to purchase a new home. There is a celebration working towards our relationships. This could be any sort of a celebration. You've got two fours, dear Capricorn. As I said... With the sun in your sign, Saturn there, know that what you've been working for is happening. Yesterday when I was looking at the chart, Saturn was at 11 degrees and 11 minutes. If that's not karma, what is? This is a very karmic time and January is full of it, you know, karma because it's a very destined time with the eclipses. Now a card just flipped open. 
and it's the seven of cups which speaks of choices be careful with Jupiter and Neptune squaring there may be a lot of you know illusions going on sometimes with the seven seven of cups it's the energy of Pisces try not to be disillusioned by this offer that's coming through don't make it bigger than what it is try and look at the facts because you know the seven of seven of cups which is Pisces and Neptune um, this can be an illusion and Chiron is in Pisces which is the wounded healer and he can this can be really weird energy so just know that Mars is just passing over Chiron moving out of Pisces it's moving into Aries which says that all systems go for you know powering up having the energy to do that to become the Emperor let me take a card on the Emperor now you know the Knight of Coins could be someone who's got a lot of choices he could be someone who is saying today that you know he's going for love he's coming to offer this cup and then he's changing his mind so it's someone who can be quite disillusioned now could it be someone who drinks a lot it could be could it be someone who takes drugs yes that could be as well so could be someone that goes out a lot and you know meets up with friends could be someone who's very social as well let's look at the Emperor and we've got the ten of wands which the ten of wands speaks of getting to your goal this is if this has got to do with business you're getting to an end you're finishing up a project this breaks down to the ace of wands so there's a lot of sexual energy here as well let's take a card on the two of pentacles so making a choice between two you're either looking at a fire sign so that would be more than likely Aries Aries Leo Sag and um, I'm gonna say Aries because Mars is moving into Aries so you're choosing between a water sign or a fire sign so Pisces more than likely and the eight of wands are Cupid's arrows going through the sky love messages quick movement the arrows of Cupid here as well as flight travel there is a lot of passion here a lot of passion dear Capricorn you you must be dealing with a fire sign either that or you've got strong fire in your chart now with Pluto in your in your um, sign you are powering up you are transforming there are major changes that Capricorn is going through but know that you're getting to your goal this is a celebration I always like to say that you know uh, karma can be a bitch justice will prevail but here for you I think that it's giving you really good things so putting in that hard work whatever you are getting to you are getting to a celebration so congratulations you're finding your stability you've been through such hard time dear Capricorn but I want to say that you know with all this Capricornian energy that's still around and it's only going to get harder and harder know that there is a lot going on for you and your lives and the people around you of course because everyone has Capricorn somewhere in their chart now you've got a lot to look forward to Jupiter will be moving into your sign in December so let's look at the justice the present position and we've got sacerdote so this is a commitment this is keeping the faith your beliefs very Sagittarian yes this is also like the Hierophant which poses of restrictions being uh, a number in the hierarchy having to do things by the book but you're keeping your faith you're working some of you are working for a um, big corporate place where you're climbing the ladder congratulations 
let me take another card we've got Namika which is the enemy there is an enemy that's showing their true colors the mask is coming off there is jealousy here I can see and we've also got the Queen of Wands similar to that so she is the passionate uh, queen there is a lot of uh, sexuality and passion here and I see competition I see one man with two women here one is older than the other know that the one that is the younger one is the one that's going to win the prize she's holding something very precious she's holding a jewel in her hand both numbers are a 12 12 are um, the number of the hanged man and the hanged man is Piscean energy again let me look at these three cards that have fallen here so we've got artista which is the discovery here we've got something happening suddenly something comes in quickly and what is it your knight in shining armor Viaggio some of you are actually flying absolutely out of the blue flying to a distant place this is very you know very Sagittarian you're going on a voyage either that or someone is coming in to meet up with you this could be you contemplating on whether you will or you won't some of you have been communicating through social media with someone who's at a distance now I'm just going to look at the the position of the six of cups now is this a childhood sweetheart childhood love or a previous life karmic relationship and we've got morte which is death and transformation as well as the hermit which could be someone who is thinking very carefully they are going within it's as though they're meditating just like the hermit does now this could be a solicitor this could be a doctor okay so we've got Scorpio and we've got Virgo here let's take one more card and here we've got Emmanuel there's that spiritual bond there is that past life connection that karmic twin flame soulmate connection here all right so this is someone from your past um, I would say more than likely that they if it is the same person they've got fire and water in their chart so they can be very passionate but they can be very sensitive as well for those of you that are you know dealing with someone new there could be children that are involved as well someone could have children in the mix either you do if you're coming from a previous relationship or the other person does or this is just a relationship of innocence dear Capricorn now whatever it is you you know this is creativity and the light bulb is going on this is a passionate new beginning and this is something that you may may feel very strong about if this is a project you've got a new idea let's see if the angel answers can answer if you've got any questions please choose one question in a way that it can be answered please think of a question if you want to pause the video please do that the angel answers by Dorian Virtue and Radley Valentine will hopefully answer your question so spirit guides and angels Archangel Michael Capricorn is asking can I please have an answer give them a rough idea of what the answer is for their question thank you Capricorn and we've got trust Wow and that's why we've got that's why we have and I can't even pick up the cards we've got the Hierophant here even though things may be looking grim you're gonna find out the truth and then know that 
you're going to take the energy of the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands, which I see this card as, she is like, she goes for it. She's a go-getter. And she's very lucky as well. She's very passionate, obviously. Now, if we look at this card being a 12, it does add up to a 3. So, hmm, 3 of Cups celebration. Let's read from the booklet, dear Capricorn. Trust in the process and let's read for you. Okay, this is a time for trust. Sometimes there is no yes or no to a question. There are situations where we are better served by not knowing what is to come so that the miracle can unfold, unfold before our very eyes. Like children opening a gift, part of the magic of our lives is found in the joy of surprise. Trust that your angels have something amazing in store for you even if they can't quite tell you yet what it is. Now another sign got this card. Let me just have a quick look. Um, trust. And it may have been Aries. Please check out the Aries reading. If you are dealing with an Aries person, then your answers, some more answers could be there for you. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. I do appreciate it very much. Um, just letting you know that I will be doing readings for January to June, the energies for that time, and they will be up in the next few days, so look out for that. And I'd like to wish you all the best for 2019. Um, look after yourselves and make sure that you put love above everything else. You know, work is not number one in life. Love and being around people that we love is is the truth. And we just had a thunder um, in the sky. We're probably going to get a bit of rain. Okay, so that was a message coming from above. Do look after yourselves. Again, thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye.